Krishna. So I don't know. I'm not able to record. Yes. Anybody is able to record? Okay, let me call him. Actually, it's already showing that it's recording. Yeah, it is recording, but I'm not able to record. Can you remove me as an organizer and then join it? Hello. Yeah. Okay. So looks like so we are recording the session from uh, the, the Durga soft side, but some reason I am not able to record. Okay. All right. So that's fine. Um, so we are uh, recording. Yeah. So uh, the question from Ankur: Does this STS has a support with JDK 1.7 support? Absolutely, Ankur. So it has a support for JDK 1.7. So and uh, you can also use 1.7 or 1.8, even 1.6 also you can use to launch STS. Okay. So and uh, looks like so nobody has any questions and related to this. Now let's get started continuation of the yesterday session. The yesterday so we are learning how do we um, so construct a Maven based project and how do we download the jar files dynamically then accessing them into the application right i think so until that what we have seen so now let's continue um, with the various approaches various containers activation various container activation means so how different containers so we can activate for to launch sp spring application right so the yesterday we have seen uh, for uh, the using of if I go to spring client so we are using a basic container which is called bean factory container right so bean factory container is the basic container and so we can use the advanced container is also called as application context container Okay, so here, so whatever the containers of which we are activating is bean factory container. First, we are loading the class path resource into the memory. And so once we load the class path resources and from there, so what exactly we are doing? So then, so we are, okay, uh, finding of the bean factory. So the bean factory is nothing but activation of the bean factory container. So then from there, so we are uh, finding the bean object. So once the bean object is ready, then we are calling the business methods right so now what I want to do instead of using a bean factory container I want to use a advanced container called application context container so the application context container internally uses the bean factory container but uh, so the bean factory is a subset for application context so whatever the the feature the bean factory um, is providing the additional feature which provides by the the application context containers suppose example by default all the beans are initialized before before looking at the bean factory so i would say that so if you remember in servlet so we have something called load on startup okay the moment uh, the load on startup element if you enabled uh, is one or any positive number if you specified the servlet object will be constructed at the time of deployment of your project so similarly i don't want to wait my client to i don't want to wait my client to until he look up until that time so the bean factory object will not be created if you are using a bean factory container so the moment when you try to accessing the factory dot get bean so then it will try to look at the spring configuration file then the bean factory will be created 
with this name and then so it will return to you the bean factory object so definitely there is a delay for to accessing the object right so if it is a small scale object so then that's fine if it is a big object where the database connections are need to be performed or some properties will need to be loaded so okay some other class uh, so classes need to be activated so definitely there is a pre background work is involved so then you can definitely see a delay for to accessing the object instead of that so if you use the application context to container the application context to container make sure that whenever the the context object is constructed and before that itself and before that itself it will construct all the bean objects so declared in the spring configuration point so that is the speciality of the application context container and the other thing is the bean factory container will not supports the concept of internalization so when it comes to the the application context so will supports the so uh, concept of internalizations so likewise so we have a couple of various different uh, so benefits the advantages the using the application context ra rather than so bean factory container okay and let me show you practically how you can use how we can use the application context container the application context container is not part of your core module the application context container is part of the module called spring context model spring context is one of the model so as part of the spring context uh, model so you have application context object and so let's use that module also spring context model for in order to access the application context object okay so i will also try to demonstrate once so once again how we can create a maven based project in case if you missed yesterday or if you did not catch so that it is a okay it is a revision for you uh, okay so let me try uh, that again so okay so if you want to create any maven based project so go to file so same steps so which i am going to be following so the yesterday so what so whatever we did okay the artifacts so which you need to select is quick start so which is a standalone application see your project group id all these projects i want to group this category okay so then the project name 003 underscore i'll try to mention so i don't want to override the okay uh, the coding here because if i make a changes here so there is a chance you can lose the control of this application right so what i am trying to do i will try to create a new project so that you can refer both the projects spring core underscore so the dependency injection so i we will be using application okay so the application context container so application context container project i'll try to mention some name like this okay and uh, we will keep uh, our package uh, like as usual so com dot easy learn right this is how you need to prepare for any maven based projects right so once if you are done finish it so automatically it will construct a maven based java project but if you want to convert to if you want to convert to spring project so you need to add the respective dependencies so meanwhile let me copy the dependencies which we have already provided yesterday right so we need the same dependencies but additionally if you want to use the application context so let me try to show you okay what is the necessary for to going the next module i will try to show you okay so now project is ready so let me go to pom.xml file so far we don't have any maven dependency only jnit 
because so that is the basic the jar file so that we usually get it when you add any maven project so now if i save this so if i open maven console so you should be able to see the, the dependency downloads so if it is already there just it will add into the build path directly so now if i go to src main.java and i don't see any other code so what i'll do we can reuse the same code over here right so I will try to reuse this code and uh, so we'll place here. So do you want to overwrite com.digildon? Absolutely. Yes. It is done. Okay. So all code is here now. So now what I want to do in the spring client class. So instead of using the resource okay and the class path resource so we have something called application context container okay so application So if you see here, I don't find any name with the name of application context. Okay, so context is equal to new. Okay, XML class path context is the name of the class. Application context. Okay but I don't find any name with this name. So because, so why we don't find, there is no class identified with this name, right? And uh, so with this line is, so this container is going to be replacing with these two lines. So internally, but how the beans are going to be managing how? Again, internally it is going to be using the bean factor. You don't need to construct explicitly. So that is the responsibility of the application context. Okay, so now we are getting error because so we cannot access the module because so we are using only only core module and then beans. So we are not using the context module. So if you want to access the context model, so you need to download the context related libraries. Let me show you that how you can do. Okay. So how do you okay get it add like one by one model how you can add in your project Okay, so now what I'll do, so here you need to search for Maven repository, right? So Maven repository dot com and so here which modules so would you like to search with the name of Spring Context. Okay, let me search. So now you found Spring Context model. So as I said, so try to maintain all of them are in the same version. So what versions of which we have used yesterday? So 3.2.18 is the version what we have used. Okay, here is the version, right? And let's use us that and just click the link over there it will automatically copies and then so go to move and then so if you remove yes okay now save this it is saved successfully and you can see if it is not at downloaded the libraries it will try to attempt to download the jars see here it is now downloading from maven central repository this 
downloading from central repository but i mention only context so this is how why we need a maven okay the moment if i downloaded okay so the moment if i downloaded automatically so it is downloaded the different jar files different versions of the jar files right so that is why why we really need a maven right i know so we have just time i'm trying to showing you that um, so if it is a new version if you trying to attempting which is not there in my local system it will like this it will try to attempt okay but actually we have to use 3.18 version okay not 8 so i'm just trying to showing you because this version is not there in my system i'm just trying to showing you if the module is not exist in your local repository how it will try to attempt to download it will make sure that it will try to download all the so dependent jar files so if you do like this so what will happen there is a conflict can occur there is a conflict can occur because it may going to refer some other version and the version that you are referring is different so both of them some point of your time it will give you a jar file collision right so better to try to maintain the same version and you don't need to make any changes just come over here and make a changes to 18 okay now if you see 18 is already downloaded in my system if i just click on save so probably it should just okay change the build build path see it is not attempted any downloaded i just want to show you how it is downloads the jars into your local system the local repository so the changing the version is pretty easy and very simple but the same thing in case if you are doing in a normal approach it's really challenging work okay all right so now the jar files are ready and everything is there so see here because of the context so context is downloaded aop is downloaded aop alliance is downloaded is spring expression so these are all the, the main jar file is context but so dependent jar file on the context is the aop aop alliance and spring expression so these are all the so dependent jar file on the context so that you don't need to be care about it so the maven is the responsibility to making sure that it will download the dependent jars all right so now if i try to okay search for so class path context i should be able to get it see here org.springframework.context the module now we are accessing okay so the now the context is readily available okay now application context is okay imported now application context is imported right and this class also you can write so the implementation class is xml so it will give you all the list of classes under this context module come on so my system is not fast like what I am. It is asking me to slow down. Okay. So it is class path. okay so here you can see a list of classes okay, that are available should be able to see one of the implementation class on this name okay so let me choose 
Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm searching. Okay, the implementation class for the application context is class path XML application context. So if you look at here in this constructor, it has the various methods. Okay, so you can use the constructor or you can pass the application context parent object or you can also directly pass the config location. So which is nothing but your configuration file location so multiple config locations also you can pass here so like this so you have different you can also pass array of values so a lot of constructors methods but in our case we have spring configuration file one path is fair enough so i will be using this constructor too so construct the application context container object let me construct it okay so the path okay will be the same right so the it is imported now you don't need to write a factory dot get bin if you call with the context dot get bin sorry okay if you call with the context dot get bin so it will automatically look up your demo bin and you don't need to write a bean factory code so that is all legacy code now see that is all deprecated now you can use this is the advanced approach right so control shift to o usually it will remove all other two the unused libraries okay remove unused imports it should automatically remove so it should remove all of them organize imports done save it okay it is done and you don't need this okay these two lines of code i can remove it so which is the equivalent the application context container so if you are using that sir what is the standard practice what is, that? what is the standard practice either use uh, bean or application context Otherwise, you can message, please. Okay. Uh, we are getting a lot of noise than your question. Okay. So now let me okay run this and go to run as Java application. So the moment, so if you run this, run as Java application. So the the expected output is so it should be as it is how your spring bean factory container is working in the same direction the application context container also should work okay the question from ankur which one is the standard practice application context or bean factory in the industry the application context is the industry standard point of view we don't use the bean factory because so we will go with the advanced concepts with the advanced features the application context is recommended rather than so using of the bean factory however your application context internally access the bean factory that's what i said so bean factory is a subset for your application context so it's recommended to use application context rather than bin factory. So if you see here, so the application context is trying to loading. Okay, now it is loaded. It is providing a lot of logs, but the bin factory container is not providing all these details. And you can also see here pre-instantiating the singletons of this particular class demo bin object ID is being already constructed. So before you are actually calling your business methods, before you are actually calling your business methods, okay? So it is able to perfectly accessible. What I mean to say is, 
even though if you are not calling even though if you are not calling this classes but it make sure that the bean object will be get ready before your class is ready so let me try to write here a small message saying that system dot out dot println okay the application context container is ready to use i will write okay small message saying that the application context application so context container is ready to ready for use the same thing i will also write the same thing for the our bean factory container so let me go to the bean factory container class okay and i will also comment here the same thing and then i will try to write here the same line of code so instead of application context so this is the bean factory container is ready for use now we will try to run and then you can see the differences you can observe so now i'm okay i commented all my business methods i'm not even looking at the bean class but still however you can see the bean should be pre instantiated pre instantiated so demo object bean impl object is constructed so setter injection is also performed so it is making sure that whatever the configuration of the beans which we have configured in the configuration file okay so it is getting ready before you access okay instead of accessing at the time of looking at the bean if you make it ready so that we can avoid the delays of accessing the beans right so exactly this concept is so similar to your servlet uh, load on startup concept if you are aware of load on startup then you will be knowing okay of the importance of it okay so that's how exactly it it works the same thing if i try it with the so bean factory container so if i run this and if you see here bean factory container is ready to use but my bean object is not constructed and the bean object is not okay a constructed and then it is not even performed any certain injections or nothing is not performed i would say right so just only your container is ready just a spring configuration file is loaded so when actually it will uh, uh, construct the bean object only when you trying to attempting the looking at the bean so on demand of the object initialization okay on demand of the object initialization so the bean will be constructed then it will return you the object so but when it comes to the spring application context if you uses the benefit of this is so all beans are get ready and it will keep you ready in the um, so uh, context right so if you see any performance wise any performance uh, differences absolutely there is no performance problem because whatever the object so that you are constructing in spring or the singleton objects in by default in nature so as those objects are in singleton objects so you don't have any performance related problems or performance related issues because all the objects are get ready and readily available and whenever you want you can access it right it's a single turn across the application there is only one object so which will be served for to enter your application so we are avoiding the duplication of the object to constructing in across the application so one object is fine for to maintaining in a container does it make you clear all okay so you, you can also see here pre instantiating the singleton object any questions okay now i will enable the code and now you can access the business method so that is one of the so the other thing is so context if you really want you can also close at the end so that facility is also there so whenever if you close the context so context dot close is not there okay that's fine okay so you can also close the context so basically so that it will shut, shut down all the beans which is not really needed okay
All right. Now let me run this. But business methods it should execute, and then it will return you the output. The same. If I attempt here also, it should be the same. Okay. But so here, the the bean factory is ready. After that only, so the objects are being constructed. But here. the first all your objects are being getting ready then only the container will be ready otherwise so it will avoid uh, the concept of what is called lazy loading so it's it's all concept so if you are aware of the hibernate so it will give you a concept of eager loading No, for entire application, so there is a only one application in context container. So you will not allow to create so multiple application contexts in the application. Okay, so it is not recommended. So the only one application context container is recommended for entire application that serves for the whole your application. Okay, so the question from uh, Ankur. And uh, Pramod, hope that answered your question. So, Ankur, can you please open the file uh, where the setter injection is performed? Absolutely. So, I'll go to okay. So, demo bean IMPL is the class. So, here is the setter injection is performed. Spring is responsible to, to injecting that message into this message object. Okay. All right, so okay, next session. So we will try to discuss now. So far, I said spring beans are singleton scopes, right? So that is called one of the scope. So what we will do probably, I think so next session, so I was uh, quite late, half an hour late, so we are not able to spend much. So next session, so probably we will try to continue with multiple projects. And after right, right after this session, I will send you all the complete material until so far yesterday uh, what we have done so and uh, today's session projects everything i'll send it so you can import and then you can try the same thing in your your system including with recording all the materials and documents required softwares okay i hope uh, promote you have not yet enrolled so please go ahead and enroll so don't okay get delayed from yourself um, and rest everybody is fine for me. I got a confirmation from at the end of the day. So, okay. And uh, um, so the other thing is I'm really tight schedule I have. I cannot really shift any time, please. So I have seven to eight another session, eight to nine I have other session. So your session and again nine to um, 10 again. So there is one more session, 10 to 11 I have other session. Okay, so if I shift for half an hour late also, the all other sessions will be get impacted. Okay, so please try to adjust yourself with this this time only. So in case if I completed the other batches and I will try to inform you that we can shift the session. Okay, but I will make sure that I will join sharp by okay eight and then so we will continue. As you know, I have little uh, some problem in my system having some problem so. Today it is better because I done a lot of things okay behind of this so I will also get make sure that ready and so we'll be start uh, on sharp eight okay so eight o'clock so that so we can have a productivity of at least the uh, so one hour we can completely give the full productivity on the session okay with that said okay that's it I have have a good day to all of you and see you on the next session and from all so please complete your process so okay and bye bye so see you on the next session have a good day